Hey, I'm Tom. And I'm Tanner. Welcome to episode 92 of Bird Squawk. Tis well, the season. Yeah, it is the season. We're all festive. Got a game on Sunday. Before I, It's coming quick, people. The holidays are coming quick. Hopefully you're prepared. Hopefully everyone has a good holidays. But we're back from the bye. Here we go. It's go time. The Cowboys helped us out. They beat the football team. The Bengals did not help us out as they did not beat the Niners. But it is all in front of them now. And I know we've said it a couple times already this season, but it's the season on Sunday. Must win. It's a must win. It pretty much is. If they don't win it on Sunday, it's pretty much over. So it's really prove what this team is. And the football team is not going to be at full strength, unfortunately for them. I feel really bad for them. Yeah, I mean, you never want anything like that to happen, obviously, with COVID and all that. But seven, there's like 17 people on the COVID list right now. So you you never hope for that. But the Eagles uh, may catch a break. They got to show up. Honestly, I tell you, I mean, I feel like the NFL season is going to come down to who can avoid this COVID. I It, it, uh, you know, it is sadly getting out of hand a little bit right now. I feel like a lot of people are getting on the, like, the last couple of weeks there's been a lot. But unfortunately, hopefully the Eagles can... Dodge it a little bit. Quez, unfortunately, is going to probably be out. Um, he tested positive. Kind of just the world we live in. But with that being said, it happens. And we obviously know from the Sixers that teams get decimated. So there, it's 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 going to be right there. And I think it's a winnable game before that. But now you got to show up. It's it's a big. It's going to be a mini home game. It's going to be a mini playoff home game. It's going to be, I think it's going to be very juiced down there. Coming off a bye, see how saucy is off the bye. And try and keep this train moving. Still some uncertainty with this uh, coming off the bye. And, and you, you were going into this yeah. bye feeling like Jalen was going to come back healthy and ready to roll. And now, you know, we're, we're finding out that they're splitting reps. Yeah, I really don't know. I was, I found, we obviously all found this out today. I told him, I was like, Jalen is not 100% still, I don't think. And he said, well, you were like, well, he's going to play. And I was like, I thought that with the Jets game, too. And then Gardner started. I don't know, man. I mean, I know I've been agreeing that he has to come back and you have to see what's playing. But if he ain't 100%, I know this fan base is going to rather make the playoffs than see what Jalen Hurts can do for four weeks. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, I if he can't go, I, I don't think we're going to be like, throwing him out there it's I, gonna be Minshew and then you know not to derail and get off on another tangent but but if say Minshew beats the decimated Washington football team there's a controversy we really are back into this whole thing. there 100% is and if you don't believe that and you don't want to believe that that's all right you cannot you could have deflected it after the Jets game that's fine but say Jalen doesn't play or Jalen isn't 100% he plays you can tell something's off, and then they decide to go with Minshew. And Minshew has a good game like he did against the Jets, and they win, and they keep this train moving. Yeah, I There's mean, a controversy. He's going to be the starting quarterback. I don't think the priority should be, let's see what we're getting with Hurts. I mean, I think the priority should be, as always, let's make the playoffs. Yeah, I Let, mean. Let's do what we can do. And, you know, the writing's on the wall for with what we where we head. Yeah, I mean, it is, it really is crazy to think. A win on Sunday puts them in the last playoff spot, officially I mean, there's in. there's still all of that stuff that needs to be done, you know, week by week to yeah. to get there. Because we've put ourselves in this position. But, you know, you look, you look at, you know, hey, we got the Giants, then the Redskins again, and then Dallas. So, yeah, I mean, I, I think mean, you get the Giants again, I think the last game stings and I think you beat them this time. And we're time. at the link this And time, then you, know? you get the football team again. They're so hit or miss, man. I mean, a week ago, I mean, if they weren't so decimated, I'd say this is a tough game. I still yeah. think it's going to be a tough uh, game. I still think. It's I gonna think it's going to still game. be a tough game too. I think they are better. They've been they were catching their stride a little bit. I mean, they didn't look great against Dallas, but I I think they still need to show up off the bye and see what is possible. It is weird. I still am trying to temper expectations because I don't want to get disappointed like I ultimately will. Yeah. But I, I, it's exciting to have meaningful football in December. But the thing is, if Jalen plays, 
he's got a lot to prove. This is a big game for him if he does suit up on Sunday. And I think it's a big game for Saucy too. But I still think it's a huge game for Jalen. December football against the division, football that matters. You got to show up. You got to put a game together. You cannot look like you did against the Giants. Because like we said last week, if he plays like that, People are going to be calling for Minshew down there. Yeah, I mean, I'm really curious to get the whole fan reaction because, you know, we're going to be there. Um, if he comes out and starts stinking it up, first two drives or something, first two possessions, you know people are going to be yelling, put Minshew. Yeah, people there. are not going to, yeah. like, and give him know, time. I don't know how Saucy's going to read that. Saucy's going to give him the full first half. I, that's the it. thing, too. And I, if it's not going well... Minshew comes out after halftime? Who knows? Because I think Saucy is obligated to put him in if Jalen is sucking, if Jalen plays. I, it's really, today has really thrown me off because I was like I was two weeks ago with the Jets. Jalen's going to play. It's all a front. Yeah. It's kind of just is what it is. But it kind of is giving me a vibe of that Jets game that, hey, maybe he isn't as good to go as he was. I mean, the Jets game, he literally said, I'm playing on Sunday and said he, and then didn't play. And then today you said, we're going in the right direction. I'm not sure. And how bad was this ankle injury? I'm not sure. I mean, I I saw the play of where maybe he was stepped on by Boston and then maybe twisted a little bit. I'm not exactly sure, but it it has lingered for sure. But we all know that if that's going to hinder his running ability, his mobility, even yeah. slightly, it's yeah. going to have a big impact on his game. Right. So, I don't know. I really don't. And I know people are going to be like, well, you're giving up. But I wouldn't mind seeing Minshew again. And kind of seeing, once again, is it saucy? Because Minshew's not the guy. I, I no, There's already reports I mean, they're going to try and move him. No, because they, a lot of he, people think... Neither one of these dudes is the guy. But, no. But the thing is, what I want to see, and I'm hoping that they take this approach is... You know, hey, let's figure it out with with uh, Hertz. What's up with his ankle? Yeah. If it's not a go, then give us the best possibility of winning this game. Yeah, like I I agree. I think if he's at to me, it's a hundred or nothing. I yeah. think at ninety, he's even a he's a liability at ninety. I just think that mobility won't be there, and I, I I'm not sure. Like I, he's not a type of quarterback that is going to go out there at seventy percent and ball out. Right. He's just not. Right. Like there's people in this league that I would take at seventy percent. He's just not a guy that I trust in this type of game. Like this is going to yeah, be mean, a big you, game. If you take his mobility away, that takes one of his weapons away, and then you're just sitting him back in the pocket, and he's not ready to do that yet. No, not at all. And he hasn't done that all year with that mobility. So. I don't know. We'll have to. I mean, the thumbnail has Jalen Hurts. I made the thumbnail this morning, and I was like, "Well, Jalen's gonna play. I'll the put this together." The atmosphere is gonna be electric. Yeah, it's gonna be electric. It's gonna be a playoff game atmosphere, which is the best. That's what we need to get back to. That missed that last year. I mean, we're actually playing a meaningful game in December. Yeah, I mean, if you go back yeah. to August when we were making videos, geez, we, I mean, you thought sixteen and now as always, but. <laughs> I mean, what? Well, realistically, I did have them at what nine and eight. That you're, was a little you're looking like a genius. Could be. I think. Well, ever of course, everyone thought they were going to be good, but I don't know. It it has been. It's been a positive season, I think, for the most part. Like you said, the the lead, the schedule kind of gave them some of these wins. Yes. I think the schedule makes yeah. them look a little better than yeah. they are. Yeah. Um. They like I said before, they really don't have a statement win yet. I uh, know. I mean, if you look at if you look at teams like Arizona. Yeah. You know, Green Bay. Yeah. They have um, one. the Rams. Yeah. We're not anywhere no. close. <laughs> no. To that. Not at all. But if you go through this roster. We're maybe five, six guys away from, you know, upgrading. No, I think we're you know? not as far away I, as I, I thought. I honestly don't think. Like, there were some dark times early where we yeah. thought, man, we need a whole new roster. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you start looking at the roster individually at slots, and it's like we might be five, six guys away from, you know. And and that's five six guys. Draft. And that's five six guys away from having three first round picks. Yeah, I mean, I don't, the draft is stressing me out, and it's still in April. I really don't know what they're gonna do with it, and we'll get to that as we get closer to that. It's another big off season once we reach it. 
I mean, I think right now, a win, I think we would go to Tampa if the playoffs started on Monday. Like, if we would win and then... Yeah, we'll cross that bridge. When we, <laughs> we'll cross that bridge when we get that's there. That's one more you know week of I mean? football, but that's, that's right. the thing. It would that's be right. nice to. It would feel accomplished to get in the playoffs, uh, but it would I'd, be like we're not getting anywhere. I'd love it, but you know, it's like uh, you know, kissing your sister or something. You know, I, I don't know. <laughs> the thing is, the draft picks. It sucks because they're slowly falling. Like the the. Colts one is like yeah, 20 now. Yeah. I don't know. They're not top 10 anymore. Like yeah. we were like five weeks ago when we were like three top 10 picks. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll, sweet. we'll have to see when we get closer to that. I don't know, man. We might be back. And I think if the hype train may be completely back. If they win this game on Sunday, Woo. it's going to be back to. Victory Monday, baby. It'll be back to everyone. Woo. They're going to the playoffs. They're doing all that. They're doing all this. I honestly think we win this game Sunday. We roll the Giants. No, that's uh, what I said. I think I mean, they want to beat up on the Giants. They so, know they got that. So the that. next two weeks, we could be eight and seven, right? I mean, we're six but, and seven yeah. now. We're going to be seven and seven with this week's win. Eight and seven going into the last <laughs> two games of the year. You know? Yeah, and I mean, I saw today if – we win and Dallas wins. They win the division, and they're not going to go. Game, that, they're, they're not, not even going to play because I don't think they're going to be know? able to contend for that one seed. Yeah. So, so they're not going to. So it's like I said, it's all it's right in front of them. They just got to show up and handle business, ten, which is hard for them to do. Ten and seven, which is crazy to ten think about. Seven? Ten and seven is possible. Could it be? Man, well, you're in the playoffs at ten and seven. And then you lose in the first round. But hey, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. But as always, guys, thank you for watching. We'll be back next Wednesday. After a birds win, I'm going to call it. I'm feeling confident. We'll be on the road maybe a little bit on the way home maybe after a big win. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll show be some we'll be initial vibe. There we go. So as always, thanks for watching. Make sure to follow us on Instagram at birds underscore squawk. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Flag goes fly. Go birds.